Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I've got something completely different for you. I'm going to be checking out this CarPlay Android Auto AI box from One Car Stereo. This device costs 329 US dollars and what it is designed for, if you have got wired CarPlay in your car like I do, and this is actually my wife's car, it will make the CarPlay wireless. You might be thinking that's quite expensive to do that, but it does a whole host of other features as well. It's basically a standalone Android device and it comes loaded with YouTube and Netflix. So you're going to be able to watch YouTube and Netflix on the screen in your car. Obviously, you're not meant to be doing that when you're driving, but when your car is parked up, it's a nice feature to have. As well as that, you've got a full version of the Play Store where you can download a whole range of apps. So you can put games on it. You might want to put Amazon Prime on it and watch some more videos. Um, if there's apps you're looking for aren't in the Play Store, you can upload the APKs and install them directly for whatever you want. And you can also store video files and photos onto the memory and play them as well. There's a whole lot in this little box. What we'll do now is we'll go ahead and get it unboxed and take a closer look at it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this unboxed. So we'll first of all remove the cover. And then if we open the box up. So we've got our instruction manual, which has fallen out. We've got the little box itself. And then we've got two USB cables, depending on what your car has. So we've got USB-C to USB-A and USB-C to USB-C. So it's the USB-C to USB-A that I'm going to need for my car. So we'll get that unwrapped and we'll set it down here for later. The box itself, we've got some plastic protection on it. We'll go ahead and unpeel that. And then again from the other side. And then we've got a little warning sticker here. So this is the device itself. And as you can see, it's pretty small. It's only 7.8 centimeters by 7.8 centimeters by 1.8 centimeters. In terms of plugging it in, we've got our USB type C connector in the middle. And we can plug the cable that we've got into it. And the other end is going to go into your car and that's simply all you're going to need to do. You can obviously plug it into, if you've got a USB connector in your glove box, you can plug it in so the device is out of the way. Then on one side we have got a space for a nano SIM and the device is 4G compatible. So basically you can have a whole Android system in your car for Android Auto without need for using your phone. So you're going to have data in here and use the device that way. On the other side, we've got a slot for a micro SD card. The device does come with 64 gigabytes of storage in it, but we can add additional storage. So I do have an SD card. Um, it's up to 128 gigabytes, which is exactly the card I'm going to be putting in. So we'll go ahead and insert that into the device. So in terms of the specs for the device, it comes with Android 10 loaded into it already. It's got an eight core processor, which runs at speeds of up to 1.8 gigahertz. It comes with four gigabytes of RAM. It's got built-in GPS. So again, you're not necessarily going to need your phone for the navigation that comes with it. It's got Bluetooth 4.2 and 5.0, and it's got built-in Wi-Fi, which is compatible with both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So let's go ahead and get it plugged into the car and see how it performs. Okay, so what we need to do is plug this into the USB drive. Um, when we plug it in, we've got some LED lights on the front, which are starting to light up and it's going to load up the box. So normally when I plug in my iPhone to the car, CarPlay will appear here. So we're just waiting for it to find the device and for CarPlay to appear on the screen. Okay, so all I need to do is hit the CarPlay button. And this is the device's home screen. So if we head into the settings, um, the first thing you're going to want to do is get this connected up to the network. I've already done this, so it's connected up to my home network. Of course, what you can do is connect it up to the hotspot on your phone. So when you're out and about, you're going to have a network connection if you decide not to install a 4G data SIM in the device. So we'll go out of the apps, back to the home, and we'll take a look at what we have. If I need to go back to my car's home screen, I'm just going to press the car icon and we're back to the home screen of the car hit the car play button and we're back into the device. So this is the standalone Android Auto device and we've got a range of apps on it. So there's obviously the phone and the messages and built-in navigation. So I can click onto this and this will work 
without a phone connected to it. And at the moment, I don't have the phone connected. So we can put in where we want to go, and it's going to navigate on it here. I can scroll through the map. But probably what you want to see is the video function on this. So we can see what apps we've got. We've got YouTube. And you're probably going to want to watch a Christopher Flanagan PC build. So we go into here, click on my name. We've got some advertisements at the top and there is the channel. And you can see it's actually pretty fluid scrolling through everything. So there's the Fantex P500A PC build. We'll click on that. So you'll see I think that looks pretty smooth. That's a really nice feature to have built into the car. If you were sitting waiting somewhere, you could load up a video and watch it. Obviously not to be done while you're driving. Um, taking a look at the video, can we scroll through it? Yeah, so it scrolls through pretty nicely. What we can do is close the video down. And then if I want to take a look through my channel, we've got a range of videos that we can scroll through. So it's obviously not the same as using a tablet, but it looks pretty good. To get back out to the main screen, we're going to click here. And you've got other apps that we can go to. So let's take a look at Netflix. And I've already gone through this and signed in to my wife's account. Because this is her car and she's going to be getting this device when we're finished. So I've set it up for her. So we've got a range of films. I'm not going to play anything because I don't fancy getting a copyright strike on the channel. Um, again, to get out of it, you might see there's not a back button, but you'll notice when I touch the screen, this little dot appears. That's the shortcut menu. So there's a range of things I can do. If I press the home button, that's going to take me back to the home. If I go back into Netflix, one of the other really cool things you can get when you bring up this little button is a split screen. So I can have Netflix playing on one side, YouTube on the other. Not that you're going to have two videos playing at once. So let's play a video here. There's my most watched video. It's actually a, a boating video with uh, around about 4 million views. And we've got Netflix on the other side. So you're definitely getting more functionality than what you would get on a standard CarPlay system. Um, I don't think resizing works particularly well on this particular screen. Well, it does. I think I've moved it over a little bit definitely there. And um, this side looks slightly bigger than the other side. Okay, so let's see what else we have. We've got VLC player. We'll click on it. And loaded up on the SD card that I plugged in, I put a short video onto it. So we'll click on the video. And again, if you haven't seen this, this is me building a PC on the boat. This is the short version of it. If you want to know why, you'll have to head over to the YouTube channel to find out. Because I imagine not everybody watching this is one of my current subscribers. So videos, you can load up the SD card, load up the memory. As I've mentioned, there's about 64 gigabytes of memory on the device and you can put up to a 128 gigabyte micro SD card. So plenty of storage for music, photos, videos. And actually the quality on this looks pretty good. So we'll pause that and go back to the home screen. So other bits that you can, you're probably going to want to see the Play Store. So that's the Google Play Store. And you can put on whatever apps that you want. So I didn't see Amazon Prime, so we search for Prime Video. Click on Amazon Prime, and let's hit on Install. And it's exactly like installing an app on a tablet. You're just going to click on it, and the device is going to install. And again, if you're writing about, obviously connected up to your hotspot, you're still going to have the internet for doing that. Okay, so I can obviously open it from here, but I'll just show you it back on the home screen. So there's Prime Video. And we're going to have to sign in. Okay, so that's us into Prime Video. We can scan down and you can see all the things that we can watch. And the videos are going to play just like what we've seen in YouTube. Again, I'm not going to show you any of these because I don't fancy getting a copyright strike. So we head back out. I have put a couple of apps on. So I've gone ahead and installed Sonic Dash. Um, I just picked a random game off the Play Store. It's not a game that I play. So it's not going to be particularly great, but I thought it was worth showing you what it looks like on the screen. Okay, so there we go. I can go side to side. I 
as I said, this isn't something I will normally play. But it actually looks all right. If you knew what you were doing on this, you could actually have quite a good time playing on the, the screen. So I'll leave it there. You've probably got the idea. And again, to go back, there's no back button. But if I touch anywhere on the screen, the white dot appears and I can get back to the home screen. The other game I've put on is chess. I do spend quite a bit of time playing chess. And we've got this signed in to my wife's account. So let's have a, a new game. So we'll click on new game. So because we're connected to the internet, it's going to search and find a game. And we're going to get to play a game with somebody online. And they've made a move. So let's go. So you can see there we've got the moves that are played. Um, there's chat down the bottom that we can go to. And then we can go backwards and forwards through the, the different moves. So I have no idea what opening they're playing here. So we've obviously got a really slow guy. I'm pretty happy with my position and I think this is completely winning. But obviously that's not what we're here today. We're here to make a video. So I'm going to give him the win. There you go. So he's got the he, he's got the win, and I've lost my wife nine points. So he'll be pleased with that. Okay, so we'll go out of this. He wants another game. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, um, back to the home screen. Now I've shown you quite a bit here. There's a lot of the functionality of the app, but I haven't actually shown you what the app's main feature is, and that is the wireless CarPlay. So what you're going to need to do is click on this Auto Kit. And I have already set this up for my wife's phone. When you first connect it up, all you're going to have to do is go into here, go to the Bluetooth on your phone and select the network. OK, so that's us through to my wife's phone. Um, she's recording this behind us and that's why it's connected to her phone. Um, and this is her normal CarPlay screen that she would get by plugging her iPhone in directly here. But it's coming through wirelessly and it is lovely and fluid clicking through things. So we can go to Audible. We can see what she's listening to at the moment. She's listening to something about vampires. Um, Google Maps. And again, we can scroll through the map. No problem with that. We want to go somewhere we can navigate. So it's lovely and fluid and it feels very, very similar to what we had seen whenever her device is plugged in directly. So back to here, back to home. And I think I've probably shown you most of what I want to do. The other thing to mention is if there's any of the apps that you want to get that aren't in the Play Store, there's an APK installer. So you can download the APK file and install it directly. The only thing I haven't shown you is the web browser. So you've got a full version of Chrome. Um, it's, I was in earlier on looking at Amazon. Um, so that's just loaded into Amazon. And you can see it's actually very fluid for scrolling through. But you can basically type in anything you want and go to it. Now the one thing I have noticed is whenever you come out of the CarPlay, it must connect to the mobile phone over Wi-Fi rather than Bluetooth. It seems to turn the Wi-Fi off. So what you need to do, there maybe is a, a way around this. Um, it says the hotspot is on, it's obviously connecting to the phone. Because if I go back in to the auto kit, it's instantly into the CarPlay. But that's not what we're after. We're wanting to actually use the device's features. So we go back to the Android device, go to the settings, go to the Wi-Fi, and we're going to have to turn Wi-Fi on again. Um, it's going to connect to the home network, and then we're going to be able to go back into the web browser. And hopefully we won't be offline anymore. There we go. That's us back online. So that's just the one thing that whenever you go to the wireless CarPlay, it seems to turn the Wi-Fi off. I'll have to have a bit of play in the setting to see is there a way to keep that on so you have the best of both worlds. But you can go to whatever web page that you want. OK, so that's a quick overview of this CarPlay Android Auto AI box from One Car Stereo. If you are interested in picking it up, you'll find a link to it in the description. And this is their top of the line product. It's obviously the standalone box with the full version of the Play Store that lets you install basically whatever you want onto it. They do offer a slightly cheaper product. It's about half the price. Um, and basically it does pretty much most of the same things apart from the fact that it's not a full version of Android where you can put anything you want onto it. It gives you wireless CarPlay or wireless Android Auto. And as well, it comes with YouTube and Netflix pre-installed, but you're not going to be able to load other apps into it or add in additional things. So if that's something you're interested in, you'll also see that over on their website. And again, I'll put a link to that cheaper product in the description as well. So hopefully you have found this video useful. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up 
And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.